I'm here in Yunchen in Anji County in Zhejiang province, more than 1,200 kilometers away from Beijing. More than a decade ago, excessive limestone mining threatened to leave this forest nothing more than a barren wasteland. It was here that Xi Jinping first put forward the notion that clear waters and lush mountains are as valuable as gold and silver. Every year, over 300,000 tourists come here to this sea of bamboo, their visits generating five times as much as the mines once did. Zhejiang is our penultimate stop as we travel from Shanxi to Shanghai and everywhere in between in our search for the making of Xi Jinping. This is Xinhua Special and I'm Helen Bentley. Xi was appointed party chief of Zhejiang in 2002, putting him in charge of a whole province for the first time in his political career. Before here, he was in Fujian for 17 years. Zhejiang was already one of the richest provinces in China, but this wouldn't make leading it any easier. In fact, this is something that Xi himself acknowledged when he said that the higher the mountain, the harder it is to climb. The faster the car, the harder it is to drive. In just over a year, he visited all 90 counties. And this extensive research trip, he said, really hit at home that the province had to transform its inefficient growth pattern. Starting in 2003, all the limestone mines and cement factories were decommissioned in Yuchun. While this was great news for the environment, it did have a human cost. Half of the village lost their jobs, and one of those was Hu Jiaqing. In August of 2005, Xi Jinping visited Yuchun, and he applauded the villagers for protecting the environment. As he said, the old development pattern that they had been on for so long was unsustainable. Oh, wow, Liu Wan, okay. So Mr. Hu was just telling me that every year 60,000 people come here just to do rafting. And before he did this business, he used to work as a driver at a limestone mine. And every year he earned 5,000 US dollars. And this business, along with some farming work, it takes home 400,000 US dollars a year. So this is my car, and I think we should get going too. So from green to growth. Woo! Great, thank you. So we're just arriving here at the headquarters of Geely, which is China's first ever private auto manufacturing firm. When Xi first arrived in Zhejiang, there were over 240,000 private enterprises, and the private sector contributed over half of the provincial GDP at the time. Xi Jinping really understood the value that these private firms could play in the creation of jobs and capital. And during his time here in Zhejiang, he inspected many of these firms, including Geely. These inspections were to help Xi design a series of measures that would support the private businesses. And two outcomes of these inspections was that it was easier to establish a private business and they had better access to financial services. Geely is one of China's top automakers and of the top 500 private businesses in China, 120 are here in Zhejiang. During Xi's tenure in Zhejiang, the province was one of the cleanest and safest in the whole of China. In 2005, it had the top environmental rating of any provincial level region. And in 2006, a whopping 94% of people said they were satisfied with the public security in the province. So, were these years in Zhejiang a success? In fact, this very question was posed to Xi by a journalist who asked him to score himself in terms of his achievements here. And his reply was, how can I possibly score myself? If I gave myself a high score, I sound overconfident. If I give myself a low score, I sound like I've got no confidence whatsoever. Scoring should be left with the people, he said, as it's the people who we serve. In 2007, after five years in Zhejiang, 
she would be appointed party chief of Shanghai. And this would be his final stop before rising to the central leadership. And if you want to know what happens next in our search for the making of Xi Jinping, join us in Shanghai. See you next time.